Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. I'm here with my buddy Richie. What's He's... up, people? Oh, my bad. <laughs> no, you're good. He's uh, he lives out on the East Coast, but spends. I don't know. I feel like you spend a good six months on the road, probably, huh? Six to nine months out of the year. Six to nine months. So he's been on the road in his new Forerunner now for the last three and a half months, I believe. So he bought this thing. Sorry, I'm having a hard time seeing my screen. I'll go on this side. So he bought this thing uh, pretty much new. You said it had like 7,000 miles 7, on it. 7,000 miles, one or owner, something. demo vehicle. So pretty new, Forerunner TRD Pro. You may recognize Richie. He's been on the channel before. He had a green, crazy FJ80, FZJ80, supercharged, gnarly. And he, you've been everywhere with that thing. Yes. For, he's had that thing for years, been everywhere, taking it everywhere. And I don't know, what made you kind of want the Forerunner instead of that? Well, like I told you before we started this, I had driven that 80 series 200,000 miles, I drove it every day. If I had to drive, I drove my 80, that was my car, until I blew the transmission. And it was just one thing that in the winter in Boston, I couldn't do in my driveway. Mm. And while it was getting, while it was down, it took two weeks to get it back up again, I drove a rental and just realized a newer vehicle was much easier on someone that's gonna be 55 in a few months. Yeah, and it spent so much time in the vehicle. It's so much time, but I mean, I was dreading the day where, what happened? How did you break your shoulder, hip, and pelvis? Oh, I was getting out of my truck and I fell. Yeah. I was getting out of my 80, was that a three was, foot, That yes. thing was high, the 80 was, the 80 was, was high. Yes, it was tall. Yeah, so, so. it's kind of how I feel with my 80. I'm like, I love the 80, but if I was driving it nonstop, so Richie has 40,000 miles on this thing now. Yes. Got it in February, 40,000 miles on So if I was driving that much, I like my 80. I don't like driving it that much. A modern vehicle, more power, feels tighter, nicer cockpit, nicer features. I would for sure opt for this. So probably you got some hate for ditching the 80 for a 4Runner, but I did. I would have done it. I did. I, I posted it for sale. I had just put a brand new factory motor in it, just. Yeah. And I posted it for sale, and it sold in six minutes, three times. Yeah. Three people sent me checks. I ended up settling with one guy. He wired me the money. And it was like breaking up with a bad girlfriend. It's like, let's do this right now and don't ever look back. And that's what I did. Yeah. And I haven't looked back. Yeah. But I, I had to make this as insane as humanly possible. And So Richie, I'll turn around. This is kind of getting hard to hold out here. So I'll just turn around, show you the truck. Richie will talk about it a little more, but 400 new TRD Pro. Uh, he's been driving it all around. You've hit like Telluride, Ure, Moab, yes. all the things. He bought this thing, it was bone stock when he got it. And he did all the work in his driveway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, even have a garage. Doesn't he, not even in a garage, in his driveway out on the East Coast. So uh, he's pretty, pretty into doing all the mods himself. So we're gonna go through this because this thing is tricked out uh, and an actual user of vehicles again. He's been on the road just this trip and this thing for three and a half months straight. Um, and we've been trying to carve out some time to get together to do this walk around because I like Richie and it's a cool rig and he actually, he has a YouTube channel, Jailbreak Overland. Is it Jailbreak Overlander? I was Jailbreak thinking. Overlander, that was the name I put on it and it stuck. And that yeah. channel, the channel going to Overland Journal and telling stories, that's all your fault, if yeah. you recall. <laughs> because you showed me about cameras and editing when you did my video back in 2019. Yeah, so we've been buds for a while and I kind of got, he was just using GoPros and this and that and he saw my stuff, I was like, oh yeah, you gotta like get a camera. And then he got a camera and now he's like taking <laughs> astrophotography and he's super into uh, checking out owls. And then he also covers all of the modifications to his vehicle that he did in his driveway. So if you want more on this supercharger under the hood, full armored, full interior, I think there's like 200 amp hours of lithium solar, on the tent, red arc assist. It's got, this thing's got everything you need for kind of extended travel. So, I don't know. I think we'll just get into it. I'll link his channel up here and then down below as well if you want more info, but I think we'll just get into it. So, we'll just start on the exterior, maybe work our way from the front to the back and you can just kind of talk about the things you want to talk about. All right, well, the first thing that had to go for me Again, I had a Raptor lined 
it was AI line or a guy in California made it, but we'll call it Raptor lines. Seven inch lift, 37 inch mud grappler, supercharged 80 series. And then getting in this was like putting on fake fingernails. I can't even explain it. It was like, this thing is so little and fragile, it's going to break. So I started right off the bat. I put a set of 35s on it. And then I hit up Ben at Filthy Motor Motorsports and he sold me a set of Kings remote shocks built for this specific truck, its weight, et cetera. And then I started doing the upper and lower control arms. I put Total Chaos on the bottom and a set of Element Hards up top with the heim joints as opposed to the ball joints, it's a lot noisier, but it seems to work out really well. Um, Dobinson hooked me up with the panhard rod, the extremely heavy duty three inch lift springs in the rear, the upper and lower controls, the whole nine. So it's, it's lifted and it's lifted legit for a forerunner. And um, the next thing I went for was armor and bumpers. Now during a pandemic or halfway through a pandemic, getting things was difficult, but C4 Fabrications sent me this bad boy and I love it. It's heavy, but not too heavy. You can't pick it up yourself. The only downfall was it comes unassembled and bare metal. You have to powder coat it yourself. Oh, okay. So sticking with my do it myself thing, where my family used to have Sunday dinner, I turned it into a giant spray booth and I tried to, well, I did powder coat it myself and discovered that powder coating is highly explosive. If you get too close to metal with the powder coating gun, all the powder coating ignites in a giant flash like an old time picture. So don't do that. But I had to powder coat it right away because it showed up in February in Boston in the winter. It would have rusted to, to crap right off the bat. But I put it on and it's a, it's a great bumper and I've tested it because it's been on the road, it's been off the road and nothing's rattled apart. It still works perfectly. It opens nicely. It's a, it's a really good setup. And this is a homemade powder coating job nice. that I thought was terrible, but it's still, still there for now. I've never dabbled in powder coating don't, myself. Don't, don't. Yeah. It's the biggest mess. Big, yeah, it's not worth it. So you got a table back here? Yep, I got a table back here. Shovel, Shovel. Lift. Well, that's the, DM the DMOS shovel that I laughed at when they first came out. Uh -huh. And now that I've used it, it's a really like badass setup. I hit him up, I told him so. Yeah. It's a great setup. Nice. Yeah, what is it, water and fuel over here? Yeah, or? the life water jug. This thing, I saw uh, Dirt Sunrise using this down in Bolivia and I got one and it works phenomenally well. You can shower with it and everything. Yeah, so this is a little filter that you can basically fill up or whatever at a stream or anywhere and filters the water, but you can also pressurize it yep. so you can use it to shower or drink out of it. I thought it was all, you know, hokey, but if they're using it down in South America as their main means of filtering water, it's got to be legit. Turns yeah. out it was. Yeah, I got one. I haven't, you know, I'm not on the road all the time like you are, but it seems like a pretty good product from, from what I've experienced with it. And then full size spare, and then some Max Tracks up here as well. Yeah, the Max Tracks Extreme. I left at a buddy's house in in uh, Virginia. Those are in his driveway. Uh oh. I got those at the uh, Overland Expo in 2019, if you recall. Uh -huh. Nobody had them. Nobody had them. Yeah. And usually when you have a Toyota and you've got lockers, you don't need them, but they're good to carry. And to guys keep. out west yeah. don't seem to know what they are. Yeah, because you're out, you're out doing a lot of solo traveling and stuff. It's, well, so that's it's it's being a able fact. to self recover. Self recovery is a huge thing, and I've managed over the years to whittle it down to exactly what you would and wouldn't need. So, cool. Well, let's while we're on the topic of bumpers, let's go yep. around front. See what I did, you got up here. I went with the metal tech in the front just because it was built like a brick hit house, and it looks phenomenal. Yeah, and I cut it's nice. it all comes in. up on the lines and everything. Yep, it, it came out, it was already powder coated. They told me I couldn't fit a Warren Xeon 8000 in there, but I did with a little bit of grinding. Okay, so that's what you got, Warren Xeon 8000. Yep. And I've got in there. the remote because getting at it is very difficult, but uh -huh. I still carry the handheld just in case. Yeah, so you got the, you have the manual hookup if you need it, but you use yeah. the wireless. Yep, yep. Yeah, gotta just always keep case. that thing charged. Yep. <laughs> And then Factor 55, because Factor 55 has two of my Ultra Hooks from the 80 series that were absolutely demolished. Yeah. 
and they took it and handed me a new one every time. Great company. They rule, I think so. Yeah, great company. Definitely. And then you got some, looks like RCI skids down underneath. All the way, all the way back, covering the transfer case, the transmission. And then I've got a C4 fab on the rear differential. Okay. But I mean, if you have, to, I'm not, a, I didn't armor the gas tank because I'd have to be on the Rubicon, in my opinion, to hit yeah. that. And this truck's not doing the Rubicon. It's yeah, I don't have armor on my gas tank. You, you know, either. as long as you're aware of that and you're not like, oh, I'm going to send it over this boulder, then you should be good. Over the years, I made a point to, when I got to Colorado, Moab, any place I got to, I hooked up with whoever was the best at driving out there and said, please show me, and they did. Yeah, that's good. Richie, Richie a lot of times will hook up with locals to kind of give them the run through on, you know, the gnarlier trails. It's just smart. Stuff. You promote them and they teach you. It works out well. So Yeah. So Richie also, he, he covers all these modifications, but he also kind of, I get, we'll say vlogs. He kind of vlogs his trips as well. So yep. shows you, shows you them. And you see all around here is a bunch of GoPro, GoPro mounts everywhere. <laughs> so it does a lot of GoPro footage. So if you're into like the trail, trail views of that stuff, he's got I've been, that. I've been covering more of the, the areas as well. It's more of a story. And again, that's yeah, all thanks to you, Yeah, you talk about like man. the history and some of yep. that stuff too. Yep. Some of the stuff that, you know, some of the trails that we ride don't even know anything about it. It's crazy that some dude with a donkey made this trail and we're having a hard time <laughs> yeah. with a 80 series with a winch, you know? A lot of the mining trails and stuff. So you got uh, metal tech sliders as yeah, well. They work awesome. They, they saved my butt on the 80 series a million times and they seem to be working well on this. And then some rigid spots. It's yep. like a Baja S8 or something light bar up there yep. on the Alu cab. Baja up top, Baja in the grill, and everything else all the way around is rigids, except for the KC Cyclone 2s underneath. Oh, the Cyclones are good, man. Yeah, yeah the, the Cyclone 2s are phenomenal. It's a good setup. Yeah. And then you got the Safari Snorkel. Well, you can't, people can't make fun of you on Instagram if you don't have a snorkel. So you need I the snorkel, a... yeah. I still haven't added one to any of my rigs, but. Really? Yeah. Oh I my. Because uh, I was to. just going to give the excuse that you use those because of the dust. Yeah. But dust, if you, yeah, you've seen my sure. videos a couple of times, I've put in the 80 where I had the river going over the roof. Oh, man. And yeah. Yeah, that's the Ozarks. So I have used it for water crossings for real. But cool. otherwise, and then we got some gold wings. Yep, everybody wants to know about these. Everything I did on this, I've made a video of how I did it, when I did it, et cetera, but I wanted to wait till I hooked up with you because I waited three months and I didn't want any, I, there was two major people, the first guy blew me off and you never did. <laughs> and you did the walk around on my 80 originally, so. Yeah. I figured it was apropos, but I knew you had a very, very busy life and it seems to be getting busier every day. Oh yeah, hopefully it'll slow down one day. But yeah, Richie was like, oh, we gotta do a video of the 4Runner, but I wanna, you know, I wanna make sure it's all dialed and I know what I'm talking about. And I didn't I'm not wanna like, make, I didn't want you to do a walk around and then my next video is the 4Runner just fell apart completely. Yeah. yeah, so he's had some time to kind of make sure everything on here is good. Pretty. Obviously, he's again, he just got this in February, so some of it's relatively new, but putting 30 some thousand miles on it. How ridiculous now. is that? Do the math. <laughs> 200 miles per tank divided by 30,000 miles in this year. I got this in February, 2022. So we'll leave uh, Richie's Venmo down below to give him some gas. No, money. no, I'm good. Thank <laughs> you though, I appreciate it. Um, so gold wings on both sides and, and then- Same alu cab as the, the 80. Same alu cab that he took off of his 80 and is now on the 4Runner. And this it's a, thing's been through some abuse. I've done four videos over the years of this thing. I've slept in this over 1,400 times, I think. <sighs> I slept in, and I tell you what, I'm an old fat dude. I have to climb up a ladder and I'm still comfortable up there just with the stock mattress. <laughs> nice. You know what well, I mean? Well, that's a testament. Testament it is. to Alucab. I've never had one of their products, but I've heard, heard good things from people well, about them. The only other thing I would have ever done, if there was more than one person, I would have got an eye camper. It's the only one that even comes yeah, close, in my opinion. Room. Seriously, because yeah. two people in an Alucab, that's yeah, a little tight. very tight. For sure. So, so he's got also 200 watts of solar up top, uh, just kind of the flat panels. I'll climb up there in a second to show you. And that's all run in through a red arc system, right? It is. I got it run down the side into an Australian Anderson disconnect so I can plug in a, an exterior panel right on the side of the truck, no worries. Okay. And lay out a huge panel if I'm stationary for a couple of days or not. 
Nice. But, so we'll get in there in a second. One more thing we didn't talk about, roof rack, so it's a front runner. It is. Underneath here that everything's mounted to. And I had to drill the roof. I, I've owned the truck for two days and I'm on the roof in the winter at my buddy's house, uh -huh. in the snow, drilling holes in the, my new yeah, truck. Yeah, putting in the plus nuts or ribs <sighs> or whatever. Yeah, that was yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's always, it's, it's always worked. Tough. Make sure you seal it real well. I did, I did. And then you have a little awning up here. The Easy On 1000. Easy Paul, On 1000. Paul from uh, Equip One sent this to me in like two days flat. Okay. I love this thing. And you know that I don't run awnings because I ran one and I ripped it off on a trail and I never ran them again. Yeah. But if we were here all day, this awning is worth its weight in gold. Oh, for sure, yeah. You know and what you I mean? Go, you go everywhere, out in Moab sometimes. and So that's nice. It's kind of a hard case, super streamlined awning that, yeah, if you're, if you're holed up in a spot for a while, it's nice. It is, Give definitely. it a little shade. Um, well, how about this? Why don't I show you where that electricity goes to? Yeah, let's do that. So we got the panels, run down, wires, I'm gonna Coming in. Pull yeah. that cover off for you. All right. Now, because I knew I was coming to see you, I emptied it out. But I mean, I built this. I mean, even this, I thought this was pretty clever of me. Even where my ladder for my rooftop mounts, I mounted rubber here so okay. that it wouldn't vibrate. Nice. Because it used to drive me crazy in the old truck. Yeah. All my electric, these are my rear drawers that I built a few years ago. And. I wanted everything concealed. And I covered it with this patio cover okay. I found on Amazon. <laughs> nice. I carry an extra red arc just in case. But all that power goes to that red arc right there and then into these two Battleborn 100 amp hour batteries. And then that goes to the 1500 watt, which is overboard, but I might want to make espresso someday. Yeah, you never know. And then my, uh, my Wee Boost booster, which I very rarely use. But if you've got a bar, it'll give you five, usually. Yeah, they help out for sure. And that's pretty much it. This all, everything I can pretty much get to unless the truck's packed. Everything fits in here in the rear. And for a walk around, it would have been ridiculous to have it all in here because you wouldn't have seen all this, so. Ah, oh, this is nice, a little patio furniture too. It's that's like a, right. It's a nice little touch. Yep. Allows plenty of ventilation in there. And but... it's magnetic. So oh. it stays on, it doesn't rattle. That's a sweet setup. It was one of my favorite things, as you can see by my smile. <laughs> yeah, so Richie had kind of kind of a similar setup in the 80, where all of his electronics and gear were kind of in the back with a seat delete. Uh, but he has a lot of room here, obviously, for other gear, duffel bags, stuff that he's carrying. Yep. So kind of has a nice, easy to access spot that you can get to from the front seat. And then all the stuff that he's not accessing all the time kind of tucked away behind this panel, but still pretty easy to get to. The beauty of this thus far is I don't have to carry 200 pounds of spare parts like I did with the 80. Yeah. But I pushed the 80. Yeah. A lot. And I knew the things that would break. This one, I've been lucky, but I'm also a lot more delicate with it on the trails. Let's put it that way. Yeah, and still learning. Learning yep. its abilities it. and everything. So you got some gear on this back panel here. Looks yep. like some I, med gear and whatnot. Yeah, I carry a lot, of, uh, a lot of first aid. And I give away a lot of first aid. I don't know why, but I do. I just can't help it. You're but. a generous guy, Richie. First aid's good to have. I try to be. I try to be. So, it comes back to you usually. Miscellaneous odds and ends here. Tools, oil, that kind of stuff. Soap. Uh, but yeah, just kind of easy to access setup. And again, Richie's living out on the road, so he's kind of evolved his system to, to kind of what works for him. So I only dropped this exposure back down here. And then, yeah, I don't know. How about you in the back You want to see the here? front side of that? Sure. Now, the one thing the 80 has over this all day, one of the other things, is I don't have my tailgate anymore. Yeah, tailgates are nice. Oh, it makes me sad. Love tailgates. This bumper light comes out a bit, though. It does. You can at least sit on it yep. and whatnot. I built this a couple of years ago, and it still worked. I gave it a little freshening up because uh -huh. we had already decided you were gonna see this. I did this back in February because I knew I was gonna be at your house. Yeah. So I wanted the drawers to look nice. I mean, it's like, I mean, it's, it's like a cleaned up, it's cleaned up some from the 80. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. A little yeah, more yeah. presentable, we'll say. <laughs> My old truck, you could just throw things on the hood because who cares? This has a black metallic paint job that I've already scratched four or five different times. And it'll never be clean. It was clean. He cleaned this clean. thing for me. Now it's kind of dusty, but I was like, man. It was like I was going clean. on a date. I'm like, if Mike's yeah. gonna give me his time of the day, 
I gotta at least make sure the truck's clean and looks all right. But this is the front side of what you just saw with the electrical system. Yep. Everything is on 500 pound sliders. Everything still works. And it's, it's held up for years. And this is all outside of Richie hasn't built this cooler, obviously, but he built all the other drawer systems and everything. All this stuff, everything. So no excuses, because Richie legit built this in a driveway, not even in a garage. No, I don't in have a, a driveway. Garage. I think I did a video on this a few years ago, how to build this. I'm, it actually did pretty well on view, so a lot of people have seen it. Okay, nice. And you got little points to strap more things down. Yes. You got, this is that Pelican area. Is this, this the Starlink in there? This is the Starlink that okay. I've been charged for three times and I've yet to actually break out. Yeah, so Richie got that Starlink. I actually, I just ordered a Starlink as well, cause. Oh, you did? Yeah, I haven't got it yet. I just ordered it last night. I went out camping with a buddy last night and he had a Starlink. And usually I'm like, eh, I don't care. Like, I'm fine disconnecting. Like, I don't care. There's nothing I need really. But at the same time, if now that I'm building my house, especially, I'm like, ah, if I get that email, I really need to forward it off to my engineers. This is the box that you want. Pelican doesn't talk about it. Nobody does. This is an exclusive. This box. You heard it here first. That's right. This <laughs> box fits the Starlink like it was a plan. I mean, really? Yeah. And actually, I inadvertently ordered two of the direct links so you don't even have Wi-Fi. You can plug it straight into your laptop so it's like oh, interesting. Ethernet. There you go, because oh. you can't find them anymore. I got okay. two. I don't need two. I ordered them by accident. That's what I'm talking about, man. Generous guy, Richie is. <laughs> Generous guy. I like don't I deserve said, it. But... I like to think it comes back to you. Um, but yeah, so Starlink, I got to tell him, because he's on the road all the time, uploading videos all the time. Uh, he's got a few different, he's got his hands in a few different uh, video type projects. Overlanding is just kind of one of his, one of his outlets, so. It's my favorite outlet, put it that way, because there's less drama. Yeah, for sure. And he hasn't even used his Starlink, so he's got to get on that. He currently uses 5G. three times. Yeah, so he was telling me he uses a 5G hotspot currently, but Starlink seems like the perfect answer for you. He's on the road a lot. Richie doesn't like to stay in oh, one yeah. place for very long. At so. all. I use this little guy to upload videos most of the times. It's the Glocal Me 5G, and it seems to work. Yeah. And now that I know that you ordered a Starlink, the next video I, I do will be setting this up in the most remote place I can and seeing how it uploads and downloads. Yeah, do it, man. Give me a report I will, back. I will, I will. And then he's got this little rack up top here. Company called Rago Fabrication. They make everything you can bolt onto a Forerunner, apparently. And everything they've sold me, I've modified to work and it works perfect. Good stuff. Got some more solar up here. Yep, just some in little, case. More pouches. Richie also mountain bikes, so he's like got his helmet back there. I do. Did you bring it out with you? Is it back at the... It's at the motel. Okay. I have a whole motel room full of stuff that was in here, and if you walk in, it looks like I live there. Yeah, Richie wanted to like <laughs> clean this thing out a little yeah. bit before the walkthrough, so... I wanted it to look like it did when I first saw it, and yeah. I haven't seen that since, because the minute you open your eyes, a black truck is dirty. Yeah, I so if you're wondering get... like, oh, does he have this? And it's probably in his hotel room right now. Yep. Uh, cool. So that's kind of the back. And what do you what do you use to cook usually, or do you just you kind of do easy meals and stuff? I right? try to, but I started cooking when I realized that I gained forty pounds on the road one time and didn't. I was blaming it on my pants. <laughs> What's wrong with these pants? They don't fit. They, somebody somebody's been fooling with my clothing. I got yeah. home. I weighed forty pounds extra. I was also taking prednisone for uh -huh. my knees and didn't realize the consequences. Gotcha. So I do try to cook. Being More a little healthier, road. you look good. I use the Genesis. And everything. I okay. use the, uh, oh, the Jet Boil Genesis. I use that. And I like I have, that. Yeah, I think it's a good setup. Yeah. It's amazing that you can use that little thing to use a frying pan and a boiling pan. At yeah, the same everything. Time. It's it's just, I like that it's just all self-contained in that yep. little unit. Yep. So sweet. And then you said you're just using the stock Alucab mattress still. Yep. Everything and... in that thing is totally bone stock. Yeah. Except for my antenna, and you'll remember that's another thing I got from you. Uh huh. Was the fold away Wii Boost antenna yep, that's yep. worth its weight in gold? Yeah, because you were you were breaking your other every mounts quite a half bit. Half an hour, yes. Like. Every ten yeah. minutes. Nice. So you at the cockpit or? Yeah. 
All right, so let's check out the cockpit here. I'll swing around on the other side. Oh, no, you get this side, oh, I'll go to the side. other side so you can see the ridiculous amount of screens. All right, Richie likes to monitor all his stuff. Probably a carryover from the 80 series it days. It is, it's you paranoia. Gotta, you gotta be really careful. 80s get hot, so you're always monitoring temps and everything like that. So I'm guessing a lot of Forerunner owners like owning a more modern vehicle are like, why you gotta monitor all that stuff? So that's probably kind of a carryover from the 80. Right. Well, it's also because most Forerunner owners, apparently, I found out, don't run 35s. They haven't regeared it. They haven't loaded it down to where it's almost 6,500 pounds. Uh huh. And they haven't supercharged it and then tweaked everything else. Yeah, yeah. We didn't even talk about supercharging. Oh yeah, this it's thing's coming. Supercharged though, but we'll get there in a sec. I never did this. I didn't even know what this was. A buddy of mine showed me these stereos, and I'm like, "Where'd you get that?" He said, "I had somebody install it." Uh huh. Well, I wasn't having that. A company named Trail Grid Pro makes this kit. Okay. It replaces all of this. All of this plastic comes with it, and you basically just plug and play. Okay. For the most part, you can watch a video on here if you were so inclined. I uh -huh. don't. Yeah. But it's a better screen for me because, again, 55 in a couple of months, I can't see things anymore. Yeah, so, nice little screen. It's nice. Use your was, navigation and whatnot on there. And well, I use the I use the Garmin Overlander okay, most of the time. But most of the time, I still stick with paper. People, yeah. I get, I have, I've, I've, I've opened my map and had kids walk by and go, What's that? <laughs> Look at that guy using a paper map. And I'm like, Paper doesn't crash, children, you know, but yeah, it still is a what place it is. for him, obviously. This is the S Pod. This runs everything. Is I can't tell if it's on. It's on now, yeah. It runs all the lights, which blows me away because there's one wire going from the firewall into the truck as opposed to 17 different wires for 17 different switches. This covers everything. Mm -hmm. And then directly before I hit the road, scan gauge came out with scan gauge three, which is phenomenal. The new hotness. Dude, tire pressure, every tire pressure, auto, auto temperature, uh, auto transmission fluid temperature, supercharger boost, intake temper, everything you want to know. And when you start modifying your engine, you want to know things before it fails in Death Valley, mm -hmm. you know, or at the Bonneville Salt Flats, etc. So, and none of these obstruct my view. But now you can fire up your Starlink and call for help if you need exactly. to. Exactly, I'm on it, I'm on <laughs> it, I will. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad, that, that was the boost that I needed. So, so you got a little, you got some panels and some mounts here for all this other stuff. Rago Fabrication made this and this is actually useful. I've got Halon right here. This was all kind of dead space. I was able to mount right here and I can still get to all my controls. No worries. Nice, and then yeah, the Garmin Overlander up top. Yep. Ram products, phone mounts. You got the, the owl dash cam that sends you like live alerts if someone's tampering with your yep. car. You were the first to have one of these back in the day. I and did, I remember yeah. their customer service fell off the cliff. Uh huh. They're climbing back up. It's yeah. worked. Yeah, that's it's what wor I've. What what I've heard is yeah they're basically I had one when they first came out and it was pretty good then they got sold or bought or something and things kind of fell apart mine quit working I couldn't get a hold of anyone but I think they're kind of back on track now kind of yeah two days they'll get back to you yeah well that's good yeah that's good ish and then you got some stuff in the front seat here he never first have any aid passengers. first aid first aid first aid yeah he just ripped his shin apart the other day he sent me some photos of it and I was like. Cool. It's the only video I've ever put on YouTube where I had to put a warning. Warning, this is it very graphic. graphic. Yeah. Because it was. I had that. It gave, it gave you that, your your balls suck into your yeah, body feeling exactly. when I saw it. Yep. Um, cool. So, yeah, and then also what, a little pedal commander. Well, if you here. have a Toyota, for some reason, Toyota loves making trucks that last forever, but they won't give you a transmission that'll actually shift properly. I shift by hand on this thing. Yeah. The whole time. Going so, to sport and yep. adjust it. Yeah. And I re-geared it to 456. I didn't want to go 488 because this is also a highway truck. It makes up for everything nicely, all as well. So uh -huh. and then you got I feel like this is kind of a carryover from the 80s it as well. Is. The it uh, is. dash mat basically with some storage pockets and stuff up there. But it keeps the dashboard dash. from cracking, right? Yeah. Equipped yeah. one sells these. Paul sells all this stuff from Australia. It's great, great stuff. Okay. So nice. And then that. I guess we'll take a peek under the hood now. All right, so this is another one that he installed in his driveway yeah. as well. Yeah, I had a supercharged 80 series. I rebuilt the supercharger myself, didn't know what I was doing and it worked. So I figured I could do this as well. 
Trial yeah. by fire. Exactly. Richie likes. You have to do it. No two ways about it. I called Magnuson and asked them what airbox to use, and they said, well, it might work with the TRD Pro. And I'm like, but dude, I have a TRD Pro. It has to work. And they said, <laughs> well, it should. And that's where they left me. Okay, so this is, this is the stock filter from a TRD Pro? That's right. Okay. And I had to make this work with the snorkel and the supercharger. That was the catch. Yeah. So I had three air boxes lined up when I installed this, and I ended up using the TRD Pro. I had to shorten a couple of things. I did a video on it if you need to know how to do it. Yeah, so again, Jailbreak Overlander, he outlines all this stuff in pretty good detail. I do. If, if you want more info on that, definitely go check those out. So I got this thing in, it worked, and it gives the truck a ridiculous amount of power. It's like, this is not like a supercharged 80. It's, to me, it's like a Corvette, it's crazy. Yeah, supercharged 80 feels like about a stock Forerunner. Yeah. And then you supercharge yep. that. I mean, yep. maybe the stock Forerunner felt better than the In altitude, 80. the 80 series, the supercharger was gone. This one still has some uh, power, so that's amazing to me. Yeah. Richard was telling me gas mileage ain't great, but actually kind of about what I would expect it. He's saying he's getting around yeah. 11. Yeah, I didn't do. I didn't research that one. I thought I, I assumed twenty miles to the gallon. It gets about eleven. Yeah, Richie was like, ah, new modern yeah. vehicle. It's gonna get do great on gas. That's eh, not doing that not, great. It's not so great. But it has been taking him around the country, uh, successfully. Lots of, lots of backcountry trails. Uh, again, lives life on the road for months and months at a time. And then he makes his way back to his driveway to install some mods, but you were, you were spending a lot of time fixing the 80. I I, I, like. Well, I wasn't fixing it, it was upgrading it. I changed things out. The yeah, only you problem- had like, You had like exhaust. suspension issues, your exhaust. exhaust was always breaking. Exhaust. Yeah. I put, on this truck, I put two exhausts. I did a Magnaflow within 30 minutes of getting home after I bought it. 30 minutes later, I'm under it, ripping the, it off, and that got ripped off two weeks later, and I put Underdog Racing Development exhaust from the headers all the way back. Okay. And, and I've never good. had an issue. Yeah. This was out of a box. I installed it in my driveway. I had okay. two custom exhausts on my 80, $6,000, two separate custom exhausts, and both of them failed within a thousand miles. Wow. Both of them. Yeah. So that bummed me out. So yeah, if you want to follow along, Richie, great guy, uh, does some gnarly things in his home built uh, you could say built not bought, built not bought. I can say that. <laughs> Forerunner that he takes on all kinds of journeys here. Oh, I realize my exposure is pretty high still. So follow along with his adventures if you're into forerunners or just kind of learning about trails, the history of trails, seeing how um, he's, how this thing is taken on, all kinds of stuff. Again, he goes on some of the popular trails and some of the more unknown trails and shows it all. So. Great guy to follow. And one of these days I'm gonna tip it over and it'll all be on film. <laughs> it will be, it'll be a GoPro right there probably and it'll smash right, yep, into, the right into the ground. Cool. All well, right, man. Richie, thanks for coming out. Anytime. Uh, always a good time. And again, I'll leave his socials down. Maybe I'll put them here, but also down in the video description below if you wanna follow along or just get more information on this awesome fully built Forerunner. And I love the fact that you always live at the top of a mountain, no matter what. It's like <laughs> yeah. going to visit a wizard. Yeah, so we're here. The last, the last uh, video I did with Richie was at my, my current, where I still live. And then this one is at my new property. You can probably tell by all the junk in the background. And well, actually there is, there is my future house there, so. It's beautiful, yeah. man. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. I ah, appreciate it, Richie. It's true. All right, check him out. Give him a follow. All I'll right. I'll catch you later, man. We're out.